Marco, Marco, you got to stand up. It's the middle of a game. You're playing left field. I know, making snow angels and the grass is fun. It tickles, okay. But it's a game. You got to stand up. You're going to get hurt. Marco, Marco, where are your pants? <sighs> and so began my chapter as a Little League baseball coach. I'm a contest master, my fellow Toastmasters, and everyone that's ever begged for a do-over. Our lives are not unlike the stories we read in our favorite books. The difference is that in the story of our life, it's up to us when we decide it's time to turn the page, to close a painful chapter, and to start a new one. The question is, do you have the courage to start a new chapter in your life, to turn the page? I've learned over time, it takes perspective to sometimes help us get out of a story we were never meant to write in the first place. When I was getting ready to graduate from high school, like many of you, I was stuck with that question that dogged me forever. What to do with my life? Now, I wanted to become a teacher. My parents wanted me to become an accountant. I don't even like math. <laughs> so, I did what any normal kid would do. Just five and a half years later, I graduated with a degree in accounting. <laughs> my parents were so proud. The only thing that matched my lack of skill in accounting was my lack of passion for accounting, which is why I was shocked when I found someone desperate enough to hire me as an accountant. One day, I was sitting in my cubicle, reading yet another report that I didn't understand. <laughs> this feeling rushed over me. I had to get out. I stood up, I surveyed the cube form, I sat back down. I felt like a meerkat. I stood up again. It was all clear. It was time for me to make my break. I sat down, grabbed my jacket, ran to the door, threw my ID on the desk, and rushed to the outside. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> well, I might have been free, but I was now also unemployed. <laughs> so for the second time in my life, I followed the wise advice of my parents. You should take the first job that you are offered. Which is how I became a retail manager. <laughs> and I told myself, I'm only going to do this job for a couple years to figure out what to do with my life. I just never thought it would become my life. Twenty years later, that temporary job was looking a lot more permanent than I was willing to admit. In 2007, I was part of the team that brought IKEA to Florida. And people stood and cheered. Not just because we now had the right to assemble our own furniture, awesome. but because I changed the way IKEA assembled, hired, trained, and developed their people. We were so successful that just three months later, my boss was promoted to work for the founder in Sweden. I was so proud. We got a new boss, and a couple years later, she called me into her office and said, Sweetie, I think I can take it from here now. Thank you for everything you've done, but I am going to give you the greatest gift anyone can ever receive, the gift of time. Uh. <laughs> and just like that, the second chapter in my career had been closed. A little part of me died that day, but I found another part came to life. 
I knew this was the last time I would have to figure out what story I was supposed to be writing. But I was scared. Until the day I looked out and wondered, what happened to my left fielder's pants? <laughs> there was something about coaching us that Little League baseball team. And it wasn't our skill. Our 0-12 record really masked the true level of our ineptitude. And it wasn't that I was a great coach. I was just the only one that said yes. <laughs> but it was like looking in a mirror. I saw in them myself. A group that knew exactly what they couldn't do, but didn't know what they could do. So week after week, month after month, season after season, I went back to that field. And I taught those kids, not just how to field ground ball, how to not buckle your knees in the face of a curveball. But I taught them how to change the story of your life. <coughs> How to rewrite who you think you are to become who you're supposed to be. I help them turn the page in their story. See, we don't get the opportunity that if we don't like something in our story, to tear out a page and throw it away. We don't get do-overs. We get do-betters. I ask all of you, in the story of your life, where are you stuck right now? What story are you writing that is somebody else's? Are you a Sherpa for someone else's expectations, carrying around who they think you should be, rather than living the life who you are? Every story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. But it's up to us, it's up to us, when we choose to turn the page, close a chapter, and write a new story. Have the courage to write the story of yourself, with yourself. Let today be the day that you turn the page in your life. Mm -hmm.